Hi guys, it's Shen here at Checker Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Star Wars Darth Vader Comics Volume 1 Vader. These are issues 1 through 6 of the new Marvel comics, and art and writing are by Kieran Gillen and Salvador La Roca. Um, names will be in the description. These follow Darth Vader after the first Star Wars movie, A New Hope, and if you've ever wanted to see more of Darth Vader's story, see what the Empire has been up to, or um, just generally love Star Wars, this is awesome. Um, so here we get a lot better look at the way Darth Vader fits into the Empire and the way he thinks. This starts off with him getting reprimanded by the Emperor after the first Death Star is exploded and uh, Darth Vader is kind of on the outs. So he has his plan to um, regain power. For this, he needs to enlist the help of Jabba the Hutt and some bounty hunters like Boba Fett. There's also a story in here with him and this archaeologist, Dr. Ephra, who is this really kick-ass girl who is you know, part of the dark side and kind of scavenges for things. Um, and she is just over the moon to meet him, and I love that. Uh, totally fangirls, basically over meeting Darth Vader, but in a very dark, menacing way. Um, that sounded worse than it really is. Um, uh, she's kind of just completely in awe of meeting Darth Vader, kind of like Kylo Ren would be. Um, and uh, she helps Darth Vader bring back to life these two uh, homicidal... Uh, robots, droids. Uh, there's Triple Zero and BT-1, which look oddly like very dark versions of 3CPO and R2-D2. <laughs> um, and then we also have another subplot in here where uh, Darth Vader needs to figure out what the Emperor's up to and what he's being like kept out of. Like There are secrets the Emperor's not telling him, so Darth Vader goes on his own to figure out what they are. I really like these comics because uh, Darth Vader and getting into like the villain's mindset and seeing things from his side um, and it just expands the Star Wars universe way more. Um, I love the introduction of the new archaeologist, Dr. Aphra, um, who is kind of girlish but still very much can fight and is kick-ass. She's kind of the Empire's response to Le Le Leia, I think. I don't know, she's not the typical bad guy. Like, she's not enlisted with the Empire officially, but she goes to help Vader, and she does it fully expecting to, like, get killed at the end of it. And it does deal with some emotional things. Uh, Vader has some flashbacks to him and Padme. I love the art in these. Really cool, fancy stuff, this one. Stuff going on here. From the different planets to what the space stations look like. Um, kind of subdued coloring because it's the dark side. Um, action and fighting. Lots of lightsaber work going on here. Um, aliens, droids, gotta love it. There is one of the comic thingies with Aphra and the droids. So cool! Um, ever since Darth Vader's first on-screen appearance, he has become one of pop culture's most popular villains. Now follow, Dar now follow Vader straight from the ending of A New Hope and the pages of the new Star Wars comic book into his own solo adventures, showing the Empire's war with the Rebel Alliance from the other side. But when a Dark Lord needs help, to whom can he turn? As Vader pursues a very personal vengeance against the Rebels and instigates the Emperor's secret and investigates the Emperor's secret mach machination. Machinations? Mm, they just made up word, guys. Um, he clashes with weapon scavenger Aphra and deadly battle droids and returns to Genesis to build an army. But some very powerful people don't want him to learn the truth he seeks. Guest starring Jabba the Hutt, Boba Fett, and more. Come to the dark side. Maybe we have cookies, maybe we don't, but we definitely got Darth Vader. <sighs> so... <laughs> There you guys go. Peace out. I love you and keep reading. Bye.